I also appreciate the opportunity to be here today. It means a lot to give thanks, and I hope that you all see that the fingerprints of your departments and the work that you guys do on a daily basis you know, may sometimes not seem like it when you're in the daily grind and things like that, but it really does have a transformative effect on a lot of people's lives in a lot of different ways. So I've been a lifelong Notre Dame fan. No one in my family ever uh, got in or could, um, uh, could come here in the past, but I was raised a lifelong Notre Dame fan from my parents. Um, they just believed in the university, what it stood for, its mission, its commitment to excellence and everything that it does, um, and Notre Dame football as well. And so I came to games from the time I was five years old. Uh, we'd come to a game a year, go to the grotto, go to mass at the crypt afterwards. Um, and probably from the time I was in fourth grade, I remember I would write in the back of each subject notebook for math, social studies. On the cardboard on the back, I would write, I will attend the University of Notre Dame. And I'd try to do the interlocking ND, which was probably awful. I still can't do it. Um, um, but that was my goal um, all the time. And came time for undergrad. And I wanted to continue to uh, play college football longer. And it turns out Charlie Weiss didn't have a real need for short, slow, wide receivers uh, <laughs> at that time. I don't know. Uh, so for undergrad, I had to pursue those, uh, those opportunities elsewhere. So I actually went and played ball at a small school up in Minnesota. But even in my bye weeks, my one week off each year, I'd come back and fortunately landed on a Notre Dame game. So I'd be back for one game every year. But when it came time to look at law schools, um, Notre Dame was obviously going to be on my list just because I've always loved it. It's always been a dream of mine. But I still had to make sure it was institutionally going to be a fit for what I wanted to do. And the law school's motto that you, a lot of you might see around or things is a different kind of lawyer. So Notre Dame law, a different kind of lawyer. And that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But to me, that was important because I wanted to be a different kind of lawyer. I, I actually don't want to practice law at all. I never want to step foot in a courtroom or a law firm. I was coming to law school for a skill set in hopes of working in a collegiate athletic department at some point. So that was important to me. And that different kind of lawyer to me meant people from all walks of life, people from all over the country who are going to come to Notre Dame, who believe in what Notre Dame stands for, um, but is going to be here to pursue their own passion, whether that's public interest, whether that's working for a law firm. We're all going to come here with the same mindset, but um, you're going to come here to pursue your passion, and that was mine. Um, so it came down time for the application process, and it seemed like Notre Dame was a good fit. I just had to get in and things like that. And I remember my dad was so nervous for me. He didn't doubt my abilities or anything like that. But he was nervous that I was going to get in, and then that Notre Dame sticker price was going to hold me back. So I would essentially you know, reach that threshold, achieve that goal of getting in, um, but then not be able to attend for monetary reasons. And so I still remember when my admissions letter came, you know, one of the best days of my life for sure. That the first page, congratulations, you got into Notre Dame. Unbelievable. And then the next page right away was um, a fellowship award that was, that was going to make it actually possible to attend, because without it, there was no chance I could justify um, coming for that sticker price, especially with the profession I want to go into. I would just never pay it off ever. Um, sorry. Uh, but that, that fellowship was going to make it possible, and I, I couldn't have been more excited. And really, otherwise, I would have been a guy who, you know, was at a bar watching Notre Dame games on Saturday saying, well, I got into Notre Dame, but instead, you know, I'm blessed to have been here, and now I work for the football team, so I'm on the field on Saturdays instead. So it couldn't be, couldn't be a bigger swing in how things went. But I remember I couldn't wait to tell my parents, but it was actually a couple weeks before my last football game. So one chapter of my life was going to end. I knew that was going to be kind of sad for them. So I thought, I'll just, I'll just sit on it, and I'll tell them after this game. So after my last game, we're down on the field in the end zone, and I, I, I give my mom, like a Notre Dame mom shirt, and I give my dad the letter with, uh, you've been accepted, but also with that fellowship award on the next page. My dad's a pretty... You know, rough, masculine guy. He's been a police officer for 25 years, and I've, I've never really seen him cry. And, uh, and he dropped to his knees in the end zone and, and was crying. And it was an unbelievable moment uh, for sure for me as well. Um, but that brought me to Notre Dame, and that was already unbelievable. And fortunately, that's, that's not where my Notre Dame story ends today. Um, and your department continues to be involved, your departments, I should say. Um, I had an opportunity in my first year here at Notre Dame to go to a kind of thank a donor event. It's a little brunch. You sit with some families, things like that. And I, I don't know if this was uh, my fault. I never really connected where my money came from. I thought it was just a pool of money um, that was kind of doled out. In terms of I didn't know it was tied to anyone specifically or anything of that nature. I thought it you know, went into a pool, things like that. So I was like, oh, I'd love to go thank a donor, anyone that's passionate about Notre Dame, supports students. Uh, I'd love to go. And so... I was sitting with a few families, 
Um, we were hitting it off. I was the only student at the table. But really with this one family that was sitting right next to me, um, Steve and Jenna Mackey from Oklahoma, we were hitting it off. We had, a ton of, we had a ton of things in common. Their daughter was going to school in Madison, where I'm from, and so all these ties. And about 45 minutes in, they were saying, you know, we don't know who our, who our law scholarship goes to this year. You know, it usually goes to a student from Oklahoma. And I was thinking, I was like, I don't know anyone from Oklahoma in my class, but I'd love to, you know, I'll try to figure this out so we can get you connected if I know them. And so I went in the hallway and explained the situation, and they kind of had the list of the names and who they line up with. And they said, the Mackeys line up with Riley Koval. And I said, I know him. So uh, I, I went back to the table, and I just said, we're a match. And they, <laughs> and, uh, and they stood up and gave me a big hug, and, and Jana Mackey, Steve's wife, just said, that's perfect, because we already loved you anyways. And so, <laughs> and so that was just the, the beginning of our relationship, and uh, we, we stay in constant contact. They come to two or three games a year, and I, I meet with them and go out to eat with them every single time they're in town. And uh, they're, just, they're just constantly thinking of ways to, to make my life easier and things like that. Just from simple things, every time we go out, I'll try to order something cheap because I don't like to spend money. And I especially don't like to spend their money since they spend plenty of it yearly as it is. And so I'll try to order something cheap. And every time, Steve will grab the waitress at some point and change it to a steak without me knowing. Because um, he's just a good guy like that. But after one of these visits, we were at dinner my second year. Um, well, I guess, and to show you how far, I only text two people during a Notre Dame game. I'm too big of a wreck and too nervous, and I can't do it. But it's, it's my dad, and it's Steve Mackey, my donor. Um, we're in constant contact. We're texting back and forth. We're both just a ball of nerves the whole time. But after, after one of these visits, uh, my second year, he asked me at dinner, you know, can I ask you, like, we know each other pretty well. I just want to ask, do you, do you take out any loans or anything of that nature besides Besides what we give you, how do you pay for the rest? And I said, you know, first of all, I don't want to gloss over that first point. Like, without you, I couldn't be here. Your, your thing makes it feasible for me to be here at all. But with that being said, I take out the rest of it entirely in loans. It's, the rest of it's all on me. You know, it's probably about $35,000 a year that I take out in loans. But thank you for what you do, because otherwise I wouldn't be here at all. So don't worry about that stuff. And he, he said, all right, all right. And he called me the next day, and he said, Riley, uh, Jana and I would like, to, would like to take care of your last year of law school. We'd like to cover that for you um, entirely. And it was, uh, it was a surreal moment. I, I told him right away, I said, Steve, we, we hang out, we text all the time. You, we're usually talking a mile a minute, and, you know, I'm, like, I'm really speechless, but I'm truly speechless. I, did, I didn't know how to thank them. Um, and what's special is that would be a life-changing experience, I think, for anyone. Um, but I think Steve and Jana Mackey knew that for me specifically and the route that I was choosing to go and pursuing this passion that wasn't maybe going to be as lucrative, um, that it was extremely, extremely life-changing for me. And it really enabled me to, it sounds cliche, but to pursue that passion and to go all in on it. Um, instead of having to kind of maybe take a job I don't want to be in for a few years, uh, things of that nature, I've been able to just go all in, pursue what I want to do. I've been able to work for the Minnesota Vikings this last summer for the University of North Carolina and their athletic department. And I've been able to go all in of that nature because they've, they've got me covered. They've, they've helped me out in so many ways. And you're, all your departments are involved in making those relationships happen. And, and uh, I can't thank you all enough. And I appreciate the opportunity to share my Notre Dame story. Thank you, guys.